On May 24, 2011, an EF-5 tornado tore a 65-mile path through central Oklahoma, passing within 25 miles of downtown Oklahoma City. Utilizing the Blue Water supercomputer, researchers have created a simulation that bears a striking resemblance to the observed storm. This simulation required significant computational resources in order to both capture the tornado scale flow within the supercell and also faithfully simulate the full storm and its surrounding environment. We focus our visualization efforts on the region surrounding the tornado that forms within the storm. The first visualization sequence contains a two-dimensional pseudocolor plot of surface buoyancy indicating storm-generated surface air and three-dimensional volume-rendered fields of cloud and rain. We indicate the location of the storm's rear and forward flanks and associated rear flank gust front and forward flank gust front, both of which are regions of interest to severe storm researchers. Other features of the simulated supercell thunderstorm include a wall cloud, tail cloud, and the tornado itself. Before animating the storm, we focus on key stages in the tornado's life cycle. First, a funnel cloud is seen descending downward from the wall cloud of the supercell. The tornado strengthens as a burst of rain falls associated with the storm's rear flank downdraft. A few minutes later, a thin rain curtain can be seen enshrouding the tornado. The tornado strengthens over time and becomes wider, taking on a wedge shape. Horizontal vortices can be seen rapidly ascending upwards around the tornado vortex. At times, the tornado becomes wrapped in rain, which visually obscures the tornado. The tornado briefly takes on a multiple vortex structure before becoming occluded and weakening as it ingests cold air generated by the supercell. The following two and a half minute visualization shows the cloud, rain, and buoyancy fields rendered every two model seconds.
We next focus on vorticity, a measure of the air's rotation. As before, we show the two-dimensional surface buoyancy field indicating the storm's cold pool. Using volume rendering, we focus on the magnitude of the three-dimensional vorticity vector, focusing on regions of strong rotation. Red fields indicate regions of counterclockwise, or cyclonic, rotation, while blue fields indicate regions of clockwise, or anticyclonic, rotation. This technique also allows for the visualization of horizontally oriented vortices. As is the case with the vast majority of observed tornadoes in the Northern Hemisphere, our simulated tornado rotates cyclonically. Before animating the vorticity field, we focus on key stages in the tornado's life cycle, including its formation. Prior to tornado genesis, a line of cyclonic vortices along the forward flank gust front can be seen converging towards a growing cyclonic vortex. This vortex continues to strengthen and widen associated with many vortex mergers. As the tornado further strengthens, vortex breakdown occurs, as is evident by the formation of twin cyclonic vortices rotating around one another. Complex vortex interaction is evident throughout the simulation. Anticyclonic vortices can be seen wrapping around the tornado and being tilted and lifted upwards by updrafts encircling the tornado. The tornado's circulation goes through periods of smooth, laminar flow, as well as periods of very turbulent flow where vorticity is shed from the tornado. Multiple vortex flow is also clearly evident in the vorticity field. The following two and a half minute visualization shows the vorticity magnitude and buoyancy fields rendered every two model seconds. <laughs> 